Welcome, everybody, to episode 15 of Smack Talk here at SmartCoutMemmet.com. I'm your host, as always, Tony Mango. With me today, the Dace Man, Chris Dace, and Braden Mayhew. Michael Burhan is once again asleep, so we have to think of a punishment for him next week. We wanted to get him to do uh, Kelly Kelly's theme for the outro, but that doesn't seem good enough. So, you guys, you send us uh, your suggestions for what the punishment should be for next week. And, uh... <laughs> And then look forward to that one on episode 16. But uh, how are you guys doing today? <laughs> Pretty good. And as you were saying, yeah, every time he misses one, there should be like another punishment added on. So we got to just think <laughs> of different humiliating ways to kind of handle his return when he comes back. So if he misses like three episodes, it's like, okay, now you got to do this. Like every every episode he's on for the next like three weeks, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, tonight's a pretty great night, actually. A little uh, exhausted myself. Going to try to rush through this a little bit. It's going to be a short show this week. Uh, we don't have a whole lot to talk about. Not a whole lot. It's going down right now. Um, next week's probably going to be a little bit busier. We're going to have a Elimination Chamber talk and everything like that. So uh, for this week, we have starting off with the hot tags. So the first hot tag of the week is WWE's YouTube show, Are You Serious? is apparently a direct copy of Colt Cabana's YouTube show, and uh, they were still told specifically to create something similar to that. Uh, my thoughts on the whole Are You Serious thing, I didn't like it. Uh, I don't know Colt Cabana's show, so I can't really necessarily compare. I haven't watched that. But the Are You Serious show from WWE, at the very least, you could say Are You Serious, because, I mean, the Triple H puppet and everything like that, I mean, I don't know. It just sucked in my mind. Days. <laughs> Uh, I watched it as well, and to be completely honest, it was it was bad. Uh, Road Dog made it a little bit bearable, uh, but how can you have an Are You Serious Bro show? Well, not bro, but Are You Serious show without Lebroski? Okay, Are You Serious Bro? Hashtag winning. <laughs> Braden. Um, yeah, it's just another one of those oh let's try to be hip you know let's do f- kind of funny review sort of things over youtube i didn't like it too much uh, we talked about this last week you know some of these show ideas you know some of them have potential and but the majority of them are really really corny and uh, as you said road dog did save it but you know if you're gonna have a comedy show why not go with you know more recent comedy characters who are you know kind of relevant and over at the moment you know rather than using like a legend or something like that and the second hot tag of the week, <clears throat> Sam Punk tossed a T-shirt out at uh, Wichita, Kansas Raw live event, trying to get it to a little kid. And some adult grabbed this shirt away from the kid or uh, blocked it or something like that. So uh, Punk went out of the ring over to the merchandise tables and got a new shirt and delivered it personally to the kid. The only thing I can say about this is that is a very classy thing to do. And CM Punk won a lot of brownie points with me because of that. I mean, he didn't necessarily have any negative points as it was. But to do that uh, for the kid, I'm sure it meant a whole lot. So that shows you that Punk's a really decent guy. Days? Yeah, definitely a class act. But the, I find it so funny because we all are going to praise Punk for doing that. But you know if John Cena did it, we'd boo the hell out of him. <laughs> That's Just so because true. we don't like that bastard. <laughs> but yeah, class act punk, and uh, we we still love you. We're not going to boo you. Give us like three years. <laughs> Give us till you have a push, right? Yeah, <laughs> a mega push. <laughs> Braden, Superman <laughs> push. Anyway, yeah, wow, wonderful class act. You know, it's it's kind of really securing his spot as kind of like a new top face in the company, and I'm sure it does nothing but you know give him major. A thumbs up from the people in the back and does nothing but you know help his reputation yeah really awesome thing to do all right hot tag number three wade barrett's theme still sucks and uh we're not the only people that are saying it apparently a ton of people are saying it specifically to wade barrett on twitter and he said to his fans quote if people keep telling me how much they hate my new music i'll change it i really respect the opinion of other people i'd rather stick a fork in my eye than hear end of days again uh, we talked about this a little bit last week, and I'm going to echo the comments I said before. I still think it's horrible. I still think it doesn't fit him at all. On this episode of Smack, uh, SmackDown, 
I heard it come out with the Seamus promo, and I was like, wait, Heath Slater's coming out? It just, I don't know, it throws me off. I think he needs to change it, and he's, he needs to change it as soon as possible, especially with WrestleMania coming around him. Days? Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the song either. I, like, I can only keep going back to the Rumble when they were doing like new people coming in and a horrible friggin' time to debut it. People coming in and in that music hitting, I'm like, I have no idea who this is. And it took being at the site and watching him come down the ramp, it took me a good five minutes just to figure out who it was being in the live audience. Hmm. Braden? Still hate it. Still think it sucks. Still think it sounds like job or music. Again, uh, I had to kind of take another double look at my screen just to see who it was when he's coming out. And it's been like, what, like a, over a week since he's been using it? Uh, I don't like it. Nobody on YouTube likes it. And every upload of it has either had its ratings disabled or it's been disliked to shit. <laughs> either go back to end of days or change it completely to something new and better. So it's a lot about the band. Yeah. <laughs> they got to be uh, really enjoying the positive feedback. <laughs> uh, last hot tag. Of this episode, we have Chris Jericho, another person uh, complaining on Twitter. He says to the online critics, quote, Funny how some of you never stop complaining and think you know it all. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. You'll have a lot more fun. I have personally always hated that phrase because if you could sit back and enjoy it, you would be enjoying it, not complaining. And if you're complaining, that means that you're not enjoying it. So if you sat back, you'd sit back and not enjoy it. You can't just tell somebody to like something that they don't like. The same as if you went to a restaurant, you ordered some food, they, uh, the food was horrible, and the chef said to you, well, why don't you just eat it and like it? Bullshit. <laughs> These. Yeah, it, he had a poor choice of words there. Normally, I enjoy his rants and ravings on uh, Twitter and such. If he would have said something like, uh, give it time, let it pan out, see where it's going... I would have been like, all right, that's fine. Because he, he said that about the Christian Orton feud, and that turned out to be one of the better feuds of 2011. So I just think he had poor choice of word wording on his feud with Punk. And Braden? Uh, yeah, if he's, I don't know. I can't tell if he's talking about the whole product in general because you can't really tell everybody just kind of sit down and like everything on a show. It's just not going to happen. You know, they do different kind of stuff all the time and you know a lot of it can be bad but if he's talking about generally the program with punk i kind of agree that you know we should see where it's going to develop i mean pretty much it's the beginning of the feud so i kind of agree there see where it goes i like the exchange they had on monday but if he's talking about the entire product to everybody that's kind of a wrong statement to make and you can't tell everybody to like everything on a show it's it's just not going to happen everybody has different tastes those are the hot tags of the week, and uh, we are going to go with part two and talk a little bit about somebody who has all the uh, ability in the world to complain about their situation in the company, and that's Drew McIntyre. Check out part two coming up right about now.